Now what we did yesterday was we did a lot of this stuff and we practiced looking for the more that might be there, the glow. We practiced the different neutral flex, the push, the point, the toe, just getting clear on the various foot choices. You're always doing something and start like customizing. Just start getting good at like being, if you're not sure what to do, default to the spread your toes one a lot. And just like learn those basic main foot choices. We then took the foot away, thumb in the hip crease, push with the thumb to keep the hip crease deep and you bring the leg up to where it's 90 degrees. Was that about 90? Mm -hmm. And then you bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. It's hard. I can't get it any further. That's like maximum. You know what I mean? Like 45 years later. Like there with no hands. As I curl the sacrum up, the leg can come further. So that's what we were teaching. And then you float the heel, push into the ball of the foot, the leg comes further. Reach up, don't pull the leg in. On subsequent stages, you'd start pulling the leg in at this point. But just keep it there, roll the sacrum down, and then we walk the foot, slid the foot, then we took it to the side, walk the foot, slide the foot, then we did the reclining lunge, sometimes hold it here, again I usually hold it here, and then we went into the extended leg reclining lunge from up. Here I'm at the right knee down extreme. I hit the float point. And then I let the right knee float to get down to the left leg down extreme. If you're more open than me, you're going to be able to get the knee down and the leg down. But most people, there's going to be two extremes. So you're either at one extreme or the other extreme, or you put it right in the middle. Okay, we did that on each side. I think this stuff is really good. Your spine's in a nice neutral. All the openings that you're getting are based on a nice space, safe spine alignment. You're lying down. What can you complain about? <laughs> you know, and yet it's stretchy and like it's, it's good stuff. Now, the next piece on this is like, I like to teach that a lot. The next step is you, and we're going to do this in a second. I always just take it away first. Put the thumb. Grab somewhere, it's easy. I could reach deeper if I had to, but it's just, just easy. I usually actually put my thumb between the little toe and the ring toe, wrap the fingers around. With my fingers, I pull the foot to keep it in a nice neutral, and with my thumb, I help spread the toe, so it's sort of like that. Bring the spine down, take it to the side. Just a lot of repeats with this one. Nice leg stretch, and then come into the reclining lunge. Now from here, this is what I wanted to show you. You bring the knee in, extend the leg up. I keep the right knee at the right knee down extreme. I keep the toe spread. I, again, I usually push through the ball of the foot and spread the toes. So again, other choices are good. 
Keep the right knee down, keep the left leg straight. And just take this leg over this way. This isn't hard, or it's not difficult. It's nice, it's sort of stretchy, it's sort of contorted looking, but it's the most people can sort of do it. It's got a nice little twist to it. I keep the right knee grounded, I keep the left leg low, and then slowly keeping the left leg low, just take it away. And right about here, your hip will do a little flip. You'll feel it when you do it. And now I'm in the extended leg reclining lunge, right knee down extreme. I let the right knee float to get the left leg down. I let the left leg float to get the right knee down. And then I bend it in. This gives you a moment of relief. Extend it up. And then I do it again. And I usually do it three times. So go slow through the hip flip. See, so there's getting less distance between the extremes now. Okay, so like I'll do that on one side, do it on the other side. And then I come into this one again, and after doing that, I bring the knee in, and I'll bring this foot into a lotus, like that. And when I bring the foot into a lotus like this, everything starts spinning this way. <laughs> And I just keep let it spinning that away. And I, I need to sit up slightly to grab my foot. And I just tip to the left knee down extreme on the other side. And so I end up in this position. Again, not that difficult, and yet sort of like weird. The first time I did it, I thought, this is cool. <laughs> oh, I've never seen this before. And what I do is I, as I inhale, I bring the knee towards my face, which is easy. And as I exhale, I let it go away from my face. So I'm just coordinating the movements and the breathing. I'm being gentle, but I'm nudging into it, but gently. Like, I don't want to get hurt any again. <laughs> so I do that a few times, and then I just let my foot slide out of there. And then I bring this one in. See, this knee doesn't go as far. So I just go back and forth a couple times. And like, there's all sorts of stuff you can start. You just start following the lines around, okay? I let the foot slip out. And then again, I just go from side to side, like three or four times. And after I've done it three or four times, I move the knee away. And then it's easy to just bring the second leg into a lotus. And now I'm here in the cosmic, grounded, upward facing lotus. I just sit here for a sec. Let the knee start opening out. I then like to lace my fingers and I pull down and up. So it's like, like that. And when I feel like I get stuck, I just sort of wobble a little. Again, gentle, but like intense. I just 
just let the legs slip out of there. And then 